a lot to go up against them. Maybe the draft didn't. I do have to say something. Dark one, uh, 87 or 80 saying, chill guys, Asia State has already won two matches. Losing one is nothing for them. Definitely. Which is also true. You know, coming up flawless out of this is simply, you know, almost impossible. It is the first loss for them that's yes. there. But he can definitely come back and tie up the series and have a draw. Your team I do is think funny. that there might be something coming in from the side of Asia Cyan. We don't know because we don't have the teams directly with the us. They're not playing in the same studio with us. Mm -hmm. so, everything is totally online. So for us to speculate and ask whether they were just testing out a draft or whether they were just trying out new things is very hard to say because yet again we don't have the team we don't have access to the teams directly team right now so we can't just ask them what's going on mm -hmm. so as much as we want to give a definitive answer we can't because we can only speculate based on the information that's given to us so let's go with the draft mode Angela Grok being banned out on first rotation Lancelot Martis being banned out on second rotation coming in from EVOS Asia Science gonna lock in the Lancelot Excuse me, they're gonna lock in the Gujan or they're gonna lock in the Cho or the Hayabusa. Well, wouldn't you be surprised if all Yay! of a sudden Nana comes out? <laughs> Cho! I told you guys I'm getting good at this. I tell you guys I'm getting good at this. So, coming in from the side of Evos, though, they might actually wanna lock in the Gujan and also maybe like uh, maybe like an Akai or maybe a High Loss. That would be a pretty good. There'll be a pretty good answer. Cho now being picked up for King Fredo on the first rotation. But remember, guys, all of this was made possible thanks to our official sponsor of C Gamer Mall. Whether it's Steam Wallet Codes, whether it is Mall Points, whether it is uh, currency for games, make sure you go check out C Gamer Mall. Ooh, Hellcut and Lucian. I forgot about the Hellcut. I thought Your Hellcut was banned for some picking. reason. I totally forgot about Hellcut. So Hellcut now being picked up for Gusion as well for the side of Evos. What do you think about this pickup here coming in from the side of... Uh... I do like the Evos pickup that's there. Hellcut, you know, can shut down. The silence is going to be really good. And the burst damage that's coming out for them. If Evos wants to, you know, increase that tempo of the game, do what they, they did before, this is a good, you know, initial lineup to have out there. You know, Gushin is really good early game as well as Helcut. Responding to that is going to be High Loss, which is going to be a nice response. You know, the point blank coming in, the, enemy uh, the point blank picking. stun if anybody were to come in, and the Tyler coming in with the additional silence um, and, and simply be able to assassinate the potential that's there will be a good answer to the three other remaining members. Will they go for Lapu Lapu again for Just No Limit? It's worked out so far. It's worked out so far, yeah, but oh, What? We've got a Kaja. Your We've team got a Kaja. So Kaja once again coming in strong on day three. And we are going to say... Jang, 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 Jang. We've got ourselves a Bane Hover, boys. Uh, someone get the camera. Farsa, come on. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got ourselves a nice little Bane Hopper here that's going to add a lot of team fighting mechanics here that could pay off for the side of Edge of Cyan. I do like the Jaw Hit and the Kaja pick up here for the side of Evos, but the Kagura as well as the Bane with High Loss the with Cho. Is this is a team fighting. It looks like Edge of Cyan is going back to basics. They're going to focus on something that they are really good at, which is team fighting quick rotations and just adaptability so there is a lot of adaptability that's being shown here from the side of Asia Cyan not much lockdown comparatively oh. but a lot of range in terms of how they want to do their damage for the side of EVOS though what do you think about their composition? I do like their composition it is still very favoured uh, early game that's there so it's going to be uh, number 2 We're gonna be heading Asia Cyan blue Five side EVOS red side quick prediction how one to one? One to one. I feel like it's gonna be a one to one here. I felt I'm not gonna say that Evos was lucky. I felt that Evos was able to capitalize on one big mistake that Asia Cyan made. And they were able to basically just turn around the fight and just basically just turn Asia Cyan into uh irrelevant here. But we do see Oh Gripex gets ejected right into tower damage here. A little bit unfortunate here for the side of Gripex, but luckily enough, he is tanky. He, I mean, he has some tanky stats early on in the game, so he won't be able to take that much damage. Luckily enough for him. Very lucky for him. That could have been quite disastrous if he was anybody else. But I suppose he was that ballsy simply because he knew he was a little bit tankier than most other sets there. Okay. Alright, so how do we do this here? Uh, we do see that... Oh, another toss here coming in onto Gripex. IOS. 
Very true. Lo, lo, lo. With those tosses over. Over. Over the shoulder here. Coming in from the side of Edge. From the side of Evos here. We just see Marsha now throwing out that aura. And there goes Logan now throwing out the Yin Yang umbrella. Trying to zone out as much as he can. Oh! IOS! IOS might be taken out first. And it's going to be the flicker first right into the hit from Rush to take him down. Nice job there done by Team Asia Saiyan. Being able to capitalize on that, they do get a small tiny goal lead ahead. But that should be able to give them a little bit of extra confidence as they move towards the game. Keeping in mind here that Evos would want to be playing the games a little bit faster. And Asia Saiyan wants to be stabilizing it and drawing it out into the later stages of the game. Alright, so Turtle let's talk a little bit about scaling. Let's, let's, okay. let's, let's, let's break it down a little bit. It's just been so, so exciting. Let's talk about scaling. Who has the better mid-game scaling? Uh, who has the better team fight scaling here coming in from the side of Asia Cyan and Evos? I think in terms of mid-game, they are pretty much equal. However, in the later stages of the game, they do have uh, a bit more of an advantage and that's on Oh, the wait, wait. King Pedro now gets pulled out. There goes the silence and he's going to get taken down by the Kaja. Beautifully done from the side of Evos. Two for nothing exchange here. And they will be able to take the turtle here. But Jahat now hanging out. Will he be able to go for the steal? No, he won't. He will lose his the life. The enemy has slain the, the turtle. So, and you know, going back to you know the power spikes, Evos has the early game, the mid game is about equal, and Asia Saiyan takes the later stages of the game in terms of scaling. So, can they, uh, will Evos allow that to happen, or can Asia Saiyan, you know, stall it out? Now, we do see that uh, coming in from the side of Air Asia Saiyan, we do see some uh, early aggression onto the objectives that they want to be doing. And like I said beforehand, this is exactly how Air Asia Saiyan plays. They play around the objectives, they play around some of these uh, early game proxies and priority and uh, lane priorities that they want to set up. But due to the fact that Evos, I think, has been doing crazy amount of due diligence onto Air Asia Saiyan, it seems that Evos is slightly ahead. Oh, Rush now! Rush might be in a problem here. There goes the Hellcurt, might actually go for it, but Pinjahat and Gripax now suddenly appear out of nowhere. And this could be a way for Air Side to turn the fight around. In fact, it looks like they're trying to go in for a re-engage to the fight. However, in the bottom lane, Saber has been pushing out and he's still farming up there. You're going to see the ejected Dustro rush forward. However, he's going to be, you know, comforted knowing that the rest of the members of the team, three of them are there to back him up. All right, so we do see that uh, King Fredo now is going to be pushing out over to the mid side, over to the bottom side. And this is going to be wise. Oh, Pajahat now going over onto IOS. IOS gets hit with the way of the dragon right into the hands of other members of Asia Saiyan. And will get taken down. Equalize the score between Asia Saiyan and Evos. Good job there done by them. So it's two for two, but Evos does have a little bit of a lead. Uh, in terms of because it was simply able to you know sustain within lanes and deny some additional farm onto it they will be able to get the first sorry very quickly no in fact it is going Our to be as you said against it evos that you know follows it up immediately after across the map turtle's going to be spawning Turtle in three seconds soon. later marsha finds rush pulls Whoa. him all the way back but fredo immediately throws out a slow meaning that he won't be able to drag him completely under the turret now, oh, here comes a big fight here. Going to go down. Gujan gets the first kill. A double kill going over for Evos. Yeah. And Gripex now. Oh my goodness, there goes the ultimate. And oh! <laughs> Gripex walks away with a sliver of health. Nicely done coming in from the side of Asia Cyan. But Evos will be the one that takes most of the credit. And another turtle for their hard work. Evos gets the rewarded for their the aggressive turtle. team play. And they go to fight Bajahat and instantly crushes it down. Emperor 3 0 and 1. Flawless game thus far. And it looks like Evos might just be able to take down Asia Cyan if they continue along this pace. Gushen already has a concentrated energy, which means he will be able to sustain himself in the extended team fights. There needs to be magic resist being built on the side of Asia Saiyan quickly if they want to be able to support this. Alright, so we do see Gripex now is going to be another priority. There goes the ultimate coming in from the Elka, and he's going to get boomed. Boom! Goes the high loss. High loss, unfortunately, will not be able to ride away to safety, but just find a shallow grave on his side. Once again, they're the splitting up on the bottom side. They do take away the turret first, as you're saying, but Evos responds on the opposite side of the map and will be able to take the next Our turret away. The teams here are playing very strategically and being able to read the map on the terms of movement. However, Evos managing to catch players off 
as the rotations are going through and that's why they have the lead of 3000 gold and 3 kills Wow, oh wow, Azure Cyan having a little bit of trouble here as they proceed into this game. Azure Cyan's rush now looking for more, more priority over to the mid side. We do see that Lord is going to be spawning in another 30 seconds. The amount of damage that Aura is doing in this game is just disgusting. And man, oh man, am I excited to see the amount of power that's going into the hands of Evos as they challenge Azure Cyan into this game. 30 se uh, excuse me, 15 seconds before the Lord spawns again. So what do you guys predict? Will it be a big fight onto the Lord or will Evos force Azure Cyan's hands here? Because we do see that Azure Cyan is Lord, struggling in a lot of the team fights here. And Evos is just capitalizing on their messiness. Well, we will have to see what happens along that sort of 10 to 11 minute mark. Uh, because it's where you're going to see seemingly they're going to be all oh, right. Wait, 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 wait. Before that, though, it's going to be a boom, shaka laka. There goes a mega kill over towards the side of Evos. Emperor is an emperor indeed. One top global Gujan for a reason, my dear friends. For a reason. Emperor just disgusting on that Gujan. It is going to be a real tough line for them. As the next member falls away, there's going to be high loss next as well. Rush might get dove on the turret here. Oh not boy. sure that's going to be fitting for him. He will be able to dodge away for now. But oh. now get off back. This is going to be bad here. King Fredo now trying to go back. And good. Good. There goes the turret. There goes the Yin Yang Umbrella. Right into another kill coming in from the side of Logan the Wolverine. But will it be enough though? Pajahat Kakap now trying to chase over. And it's going to be a double kill going over to King Fredo. And this is where they need to take the Lord. They need no, to take they, the Lord. They cannot take Lord right now. The death timers are too low and they don't have the damage. Oh my goodness. This is going to be bad for the side of Aegis. Now what they need is a little bit of lane priority. Push out the lanes and try to get that breathing space that they need. Oh, will they get the breathing space that they need? We will have to see. Because right now, Aegis Saiyan is you know, spreading themselves out. Trying to buy a little bit extra time. However, Evos has been amazing in capitalizing their movements. If they are able to be a little bit smarter with their movements, they might buy just enough time to do that. However, if they do get punished along the way, Evos will be able to close out the game. This is going to be very, very off the wall here coming in from the side of Air Asia Cyan. They need to really dig deep and if they want to actually draw it out, uh, can, can, can they actually draw it out here for the side of Air Asia Cyan? They really, really, really need to dig deep and push the fight on to Evos. Evos now starting it out. Air Asia Cyan now looking towards trying to turn the fight around. But will they be able to do it? No, Evos will be able to get it. Marsha now in a spot of trouble. Ha excuse me, Marsha now getting away. Goes for the aura, doing a little bit of damage and the slows here. But Air Asia Cyan trying to turn it around. Here comes King Fredo. King Fredo will be able to go. And will they be able to fight it off? Marsha, Marsha survives. Marsha survives with the sliver of health there. Walking away just by a pixel, avoiding King Fredo's ultimate there with the damage. Pajahat cock up now. Oh, Pajahat from Asia Cyan. Asia Cyan trying to turn it out. Aura. Aura goes boom. No, he won't. There goes the ejector coming in from the side of Evos. Beautifully done from the side of Evos. Will Asia Cyan be able to come back out? Five more kills they need. But the gold discrepancy has gotten lower and lower. Turrets as well. Not too far behind coming in from the side of Asia Cyan. Can they catch up? Well, we'll have to find out. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't think so. Evos is in a very, you know, commanding position at this point. We talked about hitting a 10 minute mark where their power levels are going to be about the same. Evos has still managed to able to, you know, succeed on the strategic side of the game. They oh. do find Rush. However, Rush. it will not quite be enough here. Aura did turn on his ultimate as Helgen to stop, you know, the advancement of Team Saiyan. And Evos here is still in the driver's seat. Will they continue driving along the highway or oh. will they jump out and do it? Oh my god, look at that. That was beautifully done from the side of... Oh, there goes the way of the dragon. Right into it. Nice kill coming in from the side of Asia Cyan. Will they be able to come in? Will it be Malaysian pride or Indo pride that comes in that echoes inside the comments of the Twitch? Let us know in the comments below. Man, oh man, this has been insane coming in. The Indonesians showing the Malaysians how it is done. Wow, oh wow. We're gonna see here that, I mean, with that kill there, they are able to 
come back a little bit further into the game. But the goal in terms of kills as well, still very much in favouring of Evos. Now, this is going to be insane here. We do look that Evos is directly leading up the lead here, but 1,000 gold advantage isn't something too crazy to shout about here. There are many ways that Azure Sign will be able to come back from this. What they need to do is slow down the game a little bit. Slow down a game just a little bit. Get a little bit of priority coming in from the top, middle, and bottom from the side of Azure Sign. They need to get that lord here and this is where they it, can it's start it's far too much of a gamble i completely disagree with that any team right now that goes for lord is looking to get punished unless they have you know wiped out the enemy team it is way too difficult to be able to secure lord effectively over here marsha does oh, fight grip back oh evos is taking God. over the rest of the team out here what is going on but no there it goes edge of side turning it around though beautiful beautiful stuff there goes the way of the dragon ending him nicely done killing spree going over to king fredo oh my word we're going to see out here that evos comes in with the punish and they do manage to escape out of it perfectly A-OK. -okay. But the goal now is so much, you know, in no one's favor. The turret is a little bit into Asian side's favor. Evos is there as well up, you know, just one turret behind it all. So much gold is being funneled into Bane from the side of Asia Sane. On the opposite side, so much gold is being split between Gaussian and Hellcurt. And I think that is such a good position to be in. Because if Bane gets removed away from the fight, there's a lot of damage that's simply being missing. But his positioning so far, Fredo has been really good and spot on. Bane definitely underrated here coming into this game uh, with 9,000 gold in his pocket here along with 8,000 gold. Look at the items that are being completed from the side of Asia side. They've got some really good damage as well as some tanky options here coming in. Evos as well. They've got a good split of gold here but Marsha now gets caught off. This is going to be bad here. Asia side trying to turn it around but no. Evos Emperor comes in and shows who to bow down to the king as Rush tries to run away. Asia side limping away from this Emperor Emperor now gets done. He has to flicker away. Gripex now in a spot of bother. Gripex gets taken down as well. Jahat has to hide in the brush. And this is going to be a Lord pickup here coming in from the side of Evos. Now is the time for Evos to be showing up. But guess what? <laughs> Lord gets a kill as well. Kaja pops away. Feathers left onto the ground. And the rush gets caught out. It is such a Good timing coming in, especially from Aura here. Unfortunately, Aura does get removed from the map. But in that previous team fight, we talked about Bane being such an important, you know, uh, playmaker for the side of Asia. Same, Helgen goes in, silences him away from the team, and bursts him down completely. With Bane removed from the team fight, we saw Asia saying crumble to bits. Really smart play coming out from Evos there, and huge prop to Aura. Now, really good stuff here. Uh, I do like a little bit of the tankiness that's coming in. Uh, Kangura as well will have a little bit of tanky options here with that defensive items that they're going to be picking up. Damage is pretty good across the board here coming in from the side of Asia Sayan. However, for the side of Evos though, itemization is a lot better and overall goal is increasing in their favor. And also, what's really important to note as well is that all members of Evos are splitting goal fairly evenly amongst the carries but oh my goodness there we you go there goes played. the triple sweep onto the even onto the play of Asia Sire and there we go it seems that Evos destroyed. now looking to accelerate the game while the Lord is pushing over to the top side what do you guys think with that push up oh Marsha Marsha stuck in the middle stuck in the middle with you Come but manages to get the kill An and gets taken down at the same enemy time with the yin yang umbrella there it goes we're gonna get a little bit of a push here kick back away Jess is just focusing on the turret and it's so amazing almost gonna bring it down finally in the you end out here Ash is saying trying to mount the ultimate defense but Jess is still alive and looks like iOS will be able to get the turret you in the end the Lord is now pushing up top but should be able to be defended quite easily such a successful push coming from evos knowing that once a team fight went down uh, when kaja went out just said it's fine i will split push the turret does go down and the base is now cracked open evos 
Can will be able to go in. Pajar does get thrown up into the air. It looks like there might be just enough damage. Will be able to escape. He will be able to. As Josiah now hanging out right behind, so Jawhead has to back away here. Coming in from the side of Evos, they are going to be pushing out onto the mid side and top side because they do have the priorities here coming in. And why they want to be pushing out mid and top is because that those those are the lanes closest towards the Lord. So it's very wise coming in from the Bane. Uh, from the side of Asia Science to push out that bottom side, so it gives something for Evos to think about. It does give them something to think about. If you look at those of the items here, four members of Asia Science has bought immortalities. They know that they can get popped completely away from the team fight. They want to be extending it further. Evos has unfortunately such a difficult, you know, future ahead because it is reaching now the later stages of the game. Almost everybody is at that level 15 mark which signals that there's going to be you know, a slight pull ahead in terms for the start of Asia Sen right. as the team fights out, if the team breaks <laughs> Fight out, oh my word. All right, there goes the Hulka ultimate and there goes Logan the Wolverine. He's going to be the first one that gets taken down. There, the triple sweep will be able to go down, but Immortality will be able to keep Logan on the Wolverine alive. There goes the amount of damage that goes down, but Hulka will be able to end the Natalia down. What is going on with that? There goes the Ejector. Will they be able to get away? There goes three shots. Nice double Evo is up. doing it in oh the end. Oh my goodness. Oh, Evo's now looking towards getting it on and getting it off, popping off like it's hot and Rush now gets ejected, but will they be able to turn it around? Logan the Wolverine with the Ying Yang umbrella. They try to go through, but oh, beautiful stuff. The main damage dealer has been down. There is IOS left, and members of EVOS now have got to back away. 10 seconds until the Lord spawns with 30 seconds onto the clock here for the death timers of the side of Asia Sion. Will Asia Sion be able to take the Lord and try to get back into this game? The the goal discrepancy between these two teams definitely closing I, out. But I don't think so. As she said, need to get back into the game. They are within the driver's seat at this point. They are in the next stages of the game. It's can Evos make the steal? Because with a pushing Bane with Lord, that is going to be game endingly difficult to defend against. And it looks like nobody's going to attempt to do just that the lot does get taken oh at that 18 minute and 40 second mark eh? the lanes are pushing up for asian saiyan's favor evos now it is on you to make the defense count Air asia saiyan will they be able to turn it around and disappoint evos and the entire population of the indonesian followers and commenters here on twitch because man oh man Air asia saiyan is bringing the fight towards evos now the gold discrepancy is almost non-existent between these two teams the biggest discrepancy now between the two teams is towers here we do see the lord being pushing out over to the bot side here this is going to be a smart thing coming in but we do see four members five members of the side of evos Oh, Gripex is going to be the priority here. He gets ejected right into the middle of the team. He has to go ultimate. But there is the immortality. Members of Asia Sion now turning it around. Ending the spree coming in from the side of Rush. Rush now going up as far as he can. Gripex dangerously low. Rush trying to get in the middle of it. There goes King Fredo trying to do as much damage as he can. Helping out Rush but with Emperor the damage. Emperor comes output. back oh! in. Emperor will be able to deal enough damage to deter them away. And we still are seeing here that Natalia Your pushing up to the top. The Emperor is unfortunately not be able to find out the Whoa! exact damage. And just you like that, slain. just no limit takes it away. Completely bursting away the rest of Natalia in one sweep. Just no limit has a limit, and it seems to be 10,000 damage. Man, oh man, that triple sweep did so much damage onto the And Talia. here we're gonna Rush see. Rush is gonna get taken down. This could be the start of the end here, coming in from the side of Asia side. This could be their first loss of the entire of the entire three days that we had the MSL already. Oh my God, there goes King Fredo now. It's gonna be it's gonna be it. This Evos is gonna be it. taking it away. Evos with the sweep. Wow. My word. Evos takes it away and with that in mind it is going to be the Indonesian side that sweeps them 2-0 Indo pride ladies and gentlemen Indo pride wow oh wow I, I just wow I mean such